Anybody who's into Fusion, well, I got an advanced one for ya. Let's look at how to combine two keys in Fusion. What? Wha what? We're gonna take a look at how to do this on a very badly shot green screen. If you're having troubles with green screen, I highly recommend checking out our advanced compositing course where you can work through this exact shot and the entire process of making it look decent. We have a whole new chapter on this added as a free update to anybody who has that course. And of course, if you buy the course in the future, you get that chapter. Lots of courses of what I just said anyways. So let's start out with a basic key here. I'll hit shift spacebar and type Delta. And if you're familiar with green screen, this should make a little bit of sense. And I'm just gonna grab the background color that's sort of an average of these folds here. It's really troublesome to key all these different brightness levels, which is why we're going to have to use multiple keys here. But we can get an all right starting point. I'll hit A on the keyboard to bring up our alpha channel. And what we're looking for here is to make this a solid black and a solid white matte, which we can do here in this third icon, the matte and we can adjust this threshold here. And so a good start is just to boost up the black threshold until most of the background is gone. If there's stuff out here, it's not really a big deal. We can mask that out, but we want everything around him to be black. Okay, that looks good. We'll also take our white threshold down a little bit and we'll try and fill in all the holes and get a pretty decent map. So now what this is doing is cutting him out with a pretty sharp edge which may not be good for all of the parts of our subject, but we'll do most of the heavy lifting for our key. Let's put him over a background so we can see what the heck is going on. We'll make this like a, I don't know, like a pinkish purple and like that. Merge the Delta key here over the background, take the output, bring that into our media out. And now we have him over this kind of purpley background so we can see what's going on. One thing we gotta do is we have this kind of black line around him. So we can either take the threshold up a little bit, that might help a little bit, you can also erode this just a touch. Don't want to erode it too much, just a little. Maybe we want to blur it just a little bit. We're getting to where we have a decent edge on things. Okay, so that works pretty well. We need to blur this just a little more and it's working okay. But pretty quickly, we're gonna find that there are parts of this key that don't work so well with this map. One obvious one might be his hand here where he's waving. Now we shot this with kind of a normal shutter speed, which was also probably not a great idea because we have this kind of blurry green weirdness around his hand. We have this side of his hand is too big. There's all kinds of problems with this. And if we were to adjust this Delta key here to make his hand look good, it would make other things look bad. So what we really need to do is do a separate key here to make his hand look good and combine it with the rest of the key. So how do we do such thing? Well, let's make a little bit of room with our nodes and I'm gonna take our media in and bring this up, bring our Delta keyer here to the left. And what we can do is switch from running this through our Delta keyer to just creating a mat with our Delta keyer. That's gonna be our first job. So let's grab a mat control. I'll grab this and bring it down. And we're gonna run our media in through our mat control, put that into our merge which of course gets rid of our key, but we can plug this key into our mat control in the green input like this, select our mat control, go over to combine alpha and post multiply image, and it will use that mat from our Delta key here to apply that key in a separate node with our mat control. The reason we wanna do this is because what we're gonna do is combine this Delta key here with other Delta keyers and anything else we need to do to clean up the mat before we actually cut out our image with it. Okay, so we're gonna work from left to right and we're gonna rename stuff. I'll hit F2 and we'll call this main key DK, which is Delta key here. And let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. I'll hit control C, double click off of this and hit control V and we'll rename this and we'll call this hand key. Then we can take our media in and bring it into our hand key and I'll bring this up and let's reset our key. Now we can key this hand separately. So bringing up our hand key here in our second viewer, I'll grab the background color that works better for our hand. We're just gonna look at the hand part here and not anything else. So I'll bring up our alpha channel and that's already looking a lot better. Take our mat threshold down a little bit and we're just adjusting this for the hand. And look at all these other problems that we're having with our mat. If we were to use this for our main key, it would be terrible. Cause look at all these gray holes. But looks pretty good for our hand, at least as good as it can be with all the motion blur. So we can kind of adjust this as best as we can to get a decent key on our hand. And we can spend a lot of time making that good, but you get the idea, you get your hand looking good or whatever part, it can be his head, it can be his shoulder, it can be whatever. But once we get that looking good, we can combine this mat with our main key and replace our hand here on this mat with our more refined hand mat. Wow. So we do that again with a mat control. So I'll grab this mat control, drag this down in between our Delta key and our other mat control. 
And let's go ahead and rename this mat control here is going to be apply key. And this mat control here is going to be a combine key. And again, this mat control, we're going to say combine alpha and post multiply image. And now that's set up to take our key in our foreground input. And now if we bring this up in our second viewer and we turn off and on this mat control, we can see the difference that it's making. It's basically switching out our mat from our main key with this mat from our second key. So now instead of our main key, we're just overlaying the entire mat for our hand key. We're, re we're replacing this main key with our hand key. But we only wanna do that right where the hand is. So we can limit this mat control with something like a ellipse mask push that into the mask input. And now it's only gonna switch out that mat inside of this circle. So here's the difference. This is what our hand did look like, and this is what it looks like with the new mat. So it's a big difference in our key. And we can just select the part that we want to switch out with this mask. And now we've fixed our mat to be a lot better for our key. And you can do this as many times as you want, this same kind of idea where you have a key and you are combining it after your main key like this, and you can have five or six of these stacked and they all add up to make a mat that is ideal for your subject. So if somebody has long wispy blonde hair, you might do a separate key for their hair, you might do a separate key for their arm, and you can combine the keys like this. Here's an example of what I ended up doing on this shot. This took five keys, that's our main key with a garbage mat. Then we have a key that is designed to just take care of this armpit area, that's added with a mask. We have a key that is more refined for his head, that's applied within the head mask. We have a key for the hand, and that is masked with the circle, and then we just animated this circle to kind of follow his hand. We also have a key that is better for this arm and again limited to where we want that key to show up and all of these combine to make an uber mat one mat to rule them all and then that's applied with that mat control which ends up giving us a good overall key. So that's pretty much the idea. Again, if you want to jump into this a little bit more, I definitely recommend checking out the advanced fusion training. There is a link down in the description below. I hope that you've had a great time. I've had a great time. I hope that you had a juice box or two. You, you had some sips. Hope you had a sip or two of keying.